Hello, everybody. It's me, Kay. It's time for some more Minecraft. Last episode, we celebrated a big, big event. We celebrated our 100 subscribers special. We're already getting even more from there. I'm very excited. I've had a, a really good week in a lot of ways. Uh, there is one piece of important news that I need to cover, and that is uh, this. This guy, this guy right here, uh, this guy right here, he's got to go down here now. And that means I have to go find nine diamonds, which is going to be the subject of quite a few episodes, I imagine. So we're going to head down to the patron cave. But before we do that, I'm going to go about it the smart way this time. If you'll excuse me just a moment to get back to my little house. I have a few things I have to pick up for this adventure. Uh, I'm going to require all my torches. Signs. So I'm going to want more signs than that, so I'm going to grab all my wood. Nothing in there. Any good stuff in here? Uh, I don't have any arrows, so I don't care about the bow, so no. Okay, well then, I could bring a diamond pick. Wow, I regret making those two diamond picks now. They never really did come in handy, did they? That was kind of dumb of me. Oh, well. They'll come in handy eventually. It's just a question of when. I'm going to need another pick, though, and I'm going to need a bigger sword than the one I'm packing. So let's get that resolved as well. I got sticks. Good. I got, I got wood. Good. There's still glass in there. I'll get that out later. It's not important right now. That's a pick. Good stuff. That's a sword. Also good stuff. Screw that stone sword. I don't need that anymore. Uh, let's make this into planks. That should be plenty of signs. I'm going to make sticks with the rest of it. Okay, drop off stone, or stone, that's good stone. That's not stone for another couple million years, sorry. I think I have a little more coal than that. I do not, wow. Well, that's going into torches, because I'm, I'm in this for the long run here. Oh, <laughs> I probably do with putting those back, there we go. And give me a place to store this nice smooth stone so it doesn't get destroyed if anything ever happens to me. Oh, this chest over here is good for storing stuff still. There we go. Now then, let's drop those off. Got lots of signs. Signs, signs everywhere, signs. There we go. We're... We're ready for war now. I got food. I've got my armor on, which is still in very good shape, despite how many explosions I've taken in the face. Don't read too much into that. I want to talk for a moment about things I say on K-plays that get recorded that I wish didn't. Things like, I've taken a lot of explosions to the face, and, uh... Quit getting in my holes is another one that comes to mind, as well as I like a little penetration in another series I recorded. Uh, I never imagined, when I started doing this, the things that I wouldn't realize I said as I was saying them. But, yeah, they're bad. Some of them are very bad. Uh... Let me see here. There we go. That's out. Is this a dead end? That's a dead end, so I don't really care about it. And marking it. I just want to mark the way out so whenever there's a junction, I know where I'm going. Okay, down here is nothing. Irrelevant. Good. 
another one that came to mind was when the very turd-like enemies in Dino Wars sometimes committed suicide, and I referred to them as suicide turds. And then I had to, uh, I made a joke about them being my favorite indie band. I want to reiterate, that indie band does not exist. Do, do not Google suicide turds. There are so many things that I have to make disclaimers for when I do Let's Play these days. It's very awkward. Okay, so that is the way out. I can see these signs. They're really clearly, like, positioned for me. Was there anything else in here? No, there was that nice uh, mossy cobble, but I don't need that right now. Well, that zombie looks unhappy in there. Okay, that is a uh, dead end. Very dead end if you fall off. Okay, and... Oh, that's, that's the way out. Okay, there we go. And let's put a sign up there. Yes, I have figured out how to navigate this maze-like mess of tunnels. At long last, I understand what I've done wrong. I just need to give myself a guided tour out. Uh, let me see now. I'm gonna explore this way. And see if there's anything up here. If there's not a continuation, then that is an irrelevant pathway. So I'm not worried about it. That does continue in. Okay. Oh, oh, that was a little weird for a second. Uh, let's put a sign here. I'm not going to get lost in this mess again. Okay, so we've got... We know how to get out from here. So let's explore further. This is an alternate exit, as I recall, that I dug out off camera because I got lost down here. So this is the only actual... No, there's two possible paths here. Hmm. I'm going to open this up a little bit so it's more visible. Can never have too much flint anyway, so why not? Have I done a bad thing is the question. Have I opened it up to uh, creepers? No. Okay. I'm still going to put a light up there just so it's brighter. Hmm. Okay, and that will be... Out. Now, if I generally follow these signs, it should properly take me out of this place. I'm sticking a torch above them to increase their visibility, basically. Now, oh, that was kind of a needed torch. I'm going to leave that there. Uh, let's see what's this way, then. Okay, this is one way, so I'm fine going this way for now. And it ends up in a dead end. Okay. Going to mark this down as a dead end when I get back to my out sign. Okay. And how am I going to denote up? I guess carrot.
Dead end. Okay. That's that's not a good way to go. This is a possible path to take. It goes down, which is what I want. Oh look! One of my signs telling me where I am. This is the way back out. Okay. Good. That just loops around then, so that's fine. So if I get lost here, where I'm a little lost right now. Okay, there's the dead end up there. So if I head down and that way I go to a I go out and this way's a dead end. Okay. I'm getting it figured out now. We're going to navigate this place. We'll be able to easily get down to the low levels. Uh, I want to mark this somehow. Out. Uh, no, that's not a good key. There we go. And a V. There we go. Going down will take you out of here. So that's a good one. Let's see what's this way. Okay, we've hit kind of a junction. Is this a dead end? No, okay, that keeps going. So we need to go back and determine what we want to do with this path. Okay, is this the way? Yeah, there's my sign for out. Okay. And that's the dead end up. That way's out. So if I go over here, I would want coming out of here to mark it, like right around here. That this way is the way out. This is how I'm going to solve this crazy maze. Let's see what remains on the upward path. Nothing above me, okay. Except some scary ledges, but I can't do much about them right now. Uh, this goes... Onward, okay. So I'm going to mark this as out. Gotta check my sign. I cannot afford to get a sign wrong. If I make a wrong sign, that's gonna screw everything up. So we're being very careful and cautious. Okay, so that way is out. So if I go over here... And then I mark right here. That way is out. Let's knock some of this down for visibility of that sign's sake. There we go. Let's check out the down route. See what's down here. Okay, there's some dark areas. There's a lot going on here. I'm gonna denote that going up is the way out. I'm not gonna do it on a uh, on a bad block there though. Like gravel. That's no good. What was I using? Carrot, yeah. If you go up, you can get out of here. And then you should be able to see that that's not very visible when leaving. So I'm going to make it uh, right here instead. I'm just going to knock this one back out and reclaim it. Okay, because that's really the only way you can go if you're following the signs. All right, I am out of time for now, but I'm going to continue mapping this cave system. We're going to work on getting that diamond block. I will see you guys in the next episode where I'll be right here. Bye-bye for now, everybody.